Hello everybody, I'm Shadows and welcome to this episode of Before You Buy where we're going to be covering the Isle, or as it's now known, the Isle of Rima. So if you're watching this video, a lot of you are probably going to wonder, is it worth my time? Is it worth my money? So that's what we're going to cover as we continue. So first things first, what is the Isle and what is the Isle of Rima? So the Isle is fundamentally the first development cycle of the game which started way back in December 2015 and it feels like it's been in early access forever and the Isle is still the game you actually purchase through Steam. Now the Isle of Rima is like the second branch, the newer version because in June 2020 they released the Isle of Rima which is the new version slash record slash coding of the game. So fundamentally abandoning the Isle to develop the Isle of Rima. Sounds confusing, doesn't it? So just to make it straightforward, there are currently two versions, one called the Isle, one called the Isle of Rima. Now when you purchase the Isle through Steam, you're automatically locked into the old branch, which fans call Legacy. And if you want to go to the new branch, you have to opt in because it's currently being developed. Now the old version, um, which we'll refer to as Legacy from this point on, the old version, Legacy, has multiple dinosaurs, growth, um, survival, and deathmatch. So you'll run around as a dinosaur, start as a baby, make your way up to adult, and then go around PvP with other players as dinosaurs trying to kill each other. And to be fair, it does that quite well. I quite enjoy it myself. I've covered it for a lengthy period of time on the channel and it's great fun. So it is an online game at heart, there isn't a single player option and to be honest I can see the appeal for some players, some servers have a great community, some servers haven't and all in all you can get some great experiences online. Myself like I said I, I quite enjoy it but I can also see why some players don't really enjoy this game. But it doesn't come without its but there are some problems. So the legacy version is full of bugs and the newer version, the Avrima version, is also full of bugs. Now this has been in development for a long time now. It's been in development for f coming on over five years and they s still lack in features. That roadmap is still nowhere where it should be from the original Steam page which I'll link for you now. And it's taking as well to develop. Now don't get me wrong, I'm no game developer myself, but I know games take time to develop, I get that, but the fact that it's taken five years and we're still at bare bones, ooh, lots to be desired, and obviously they've moved on to this new branch, and there's been lots of controversy surrounding the aisle, which further hindered the development. Now me, like I said earlier, I quite enjoy the aisle. It's great if you've got a big bunch of friends, if you want to roam around the map as a T-Rex, growing from young baby to big massive beastie, killing all things in your path, that's great fun. But what we want to know, is it worth your money? Well, for the asking price currently, which is 14 99 Great British Pounds, I don't know what that is in US dollars, I'm pretty sure you can work that out, maybe about $18, is it worth that? Um, it is if you want a dinosaur simulation at heart and its purest form and it is one of the originals of the genre. But if you want a complete game which is free of bugs and a speedy development cycle, I would probably steer away from this one until the newer version is complete because it is taking its time and there is no estimated finish or completed product on any of the roadmaps. Now does that make it a bad game? Not necessarily. Do I enjoy it personally? Yes. Would I recommend it? To a certain degree and to a certain person, yes, I would. But as I said, if you're looking for a game free of bugs and, a f and lots of gameplay features, the aisle isn't that at the moment, so I would stay clear. With this new version though, they are offering lots and lots of new things rather than just land dinosaurs. They're offering playable aquatic dinosaurs and aerial dinosaurs, um, humans, realistic AI, drop-in systems, etc, etc, etc. The list goes on. But the question is, how long are you prepared to wait for that? If you've got patience and you're willing to support the developers, by all means go for it. If you haven't got patience, no. So the Isle and the Isle of Rima have been hyped for some time and to be fair, just think really long and hard before you pick it up. Now if you're a long time player of the series or you have just jumped in or you are thinking of purchasing the game, let me know in the comments. 
What are your pros? What are your cons? What would you recommend to people? Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with what I've said? Do you disagree? Please, by all means, let me know and we'll have a civilized conversation below. Now that is the, the video. I'm Shadows. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It will really help me out. And if you want to see more from me, there's plenty on the channel. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.